Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about airway pressure release ventilation (APRV), and one of the common, most common one of APRV are, is the bilevel ventilation. I'll make it easy and simple uh, for you as much as I can, and I think it's really simple if you understand pressure control mode, because it's basically it's a pressure pressure control mode with some adjustments. So if you're not familiar with pressure control mode, please watch the videos. I'll provide the link in the descriptions on pressure control mode, then come back here. But this is, as I said, the pressure control mode, some adjustment, these adjustments mainly, this is an inverse ratio ventilation strategy, which means also, I will put a link to my inverse ratio ventilation video in the description that we spend longer time in inspiration compared to expiration. It's pressure target, of course, because it's a pressure control mode at the basics. Time cycles, exactly like pressure mode ventilation. And this is the difference. In pressure control, the traditional one, we have continuous mandatory ventilation. This is an intermittent mandatory ventilation. Continuous means that every single breath the patient try to take will be supported by the ventilator exactly like all other breaths. While intermittent mandatory ventilation, only the number of breaths we provide the ventilation, let's say 10 breaths a minute, only those will be supported. Any extra thing will not receive the same support, may receive less support or pressure support. To make it simple and easy for you, I'll bring this image. As you see here, we having a pressure control mode, traditional mode. And as you see, this is PC pressure control, PI, inspiratory pressure, TI, which means inspiratory time. And basically, the inspiratory high sorry the inspiratory pressure now we call it p high inspiratory pressure or p high the inspiratory time it's called t high now it's not displayed here because we have t low which is the expiratory time and the inspiratory time calculated indirectly and we'll show you that in a second simply just changing the terms right the p here we change the term to p low pressure low so it's similar to the peep now we call it p low the ventilator will keep this pressure high the 28 here for a specific period of time calling t high see this this is the t high we keeping this pressure for this period of time that called T high. Then we release the valve to drop the pressure to the P low or the peep. This is the P low and here we make it zero. You can make it zero, you can make it five. And the P low will continue for the time T low. And then the cycle repeat itself. That's what we call airway pressure release ventilation. We keep a continuous positive pressure for a specific period of time. So we keep a continuous positive pressure, we call it P high, for a specific period of time called T high. And this correlate to the inspiratory pressure and inspiratory time in the traditional pressure control mode. Then we release that, we go to a lower pressure called P low, correlate to peep on the traditional pressure control mode for a specific period of time called T low, which correlate to expiratory time on pr a traditional pressure control mode. Then the cycle repeat itself. Let's continue next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. So you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.